I'm about to go on a journey around the north of England to see some of Britain's rare and endangered species. Conservation measures are crucial if we are to protect these amazing but vulnerable creatures whose natural habitat is under threat every day. I have been passionate about wildlife since I was a young lad. I've come back up north to my old stomping grounds of Yorkshire and Lincolnshire, which have some of the most diverse habitats in all of the UK. They've also had great success stories in saving really endangered creatures, some of which had been on the brink of extinction. I'm here in the coastal marshes of the Humber estuary. I'm hoping to see a pretty spectacular example of a species that is battling to survive. But more of that in a minute. I'm also going to head down to the beach to see one of the largest colonies of grey seals in Britain, I try my hand at trapping a rather elusive newt, and visit the magnificent Harwood House near Leeds to catch up with a hugely successful conservation and bird breeding project. Look at this, black toff sands. You know, it's, it's a tidal marsh. It's where the land and the sea merge together. And people say, well, it's a barren place, but it's not, it's actually teeming with life. It vibrates with life. You, you sit here and life comes to you. I used to come here as a little boy when I was seven, eight years of age. I used to come uh, on my Mickey Mouse bike. <laughs> I used to come on my own and people say, well, what's I going there for? There are no mountains there, but it's wrong. There are mountains here because the sky and the clouds, the formations, these are your mountains. They melt into the countryside. The magic of it all. Ah, oh, and it hasn't changed since I was a child. Thank God for that. Isn't it marvellous? Isn't it isn't it? Pete Short, the RSPB warden, is going to tell us about the rare Marsh Harrier, and hopefully we'll be able to spot one. 